Welcome back to the Joe and Julian podcast. Couple this week, our special day. guest is our dog. <laughs> He's sitting with me because... He's having a daddy day. I'm trying to hold him in this little pouch all day long, <laughs> seeing if I can do it all day long. He's enjoying himself. He is, except for I couldn't do it while he ate. Obviously. Or while he did his business. Obviously. Well, it's not obvious. It's just... A little obvious. Peach what? is pretty jealous right now. Peachy, no. No, I'm spending time with our other child, not she you. She just honked at you. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Me Undies, guys. Get everything you need for you and your loved ones for this uh, holiday season at Me Undies with four different cuts for men and women, all of which come in their amazing micromodal fabric, three times softer than cotton. Get 15% off a pair of the most comfortable undies. When you go to meundies.com slash Anna Julian, that's M-E-U-N-D-I-E-S dot com slash Anna Julian. Order by 12-16, the 16th of this month, which it's now December, by the way, guys. Deal with it. It is crazy, but deal with it. Order by the 16th, and uh, you will receive your order before Christmas. Also, guys, wink. If you're struggling to find wine for you and your loved ones, and you go to the store, and you don't know what to do when you're in the wine aisle, you're just like, oh, these bottles. I don't know. Let wink do all the work for you, Okay. They send you great wine that you will like specifically, all right? There's no membership fee. Skip any month. Cancel any time. Shipping is complimentary. Go to trywinc.com, trywink.com slash Jenna and Julian for $20 off. Also, guys, lastly, Postmates, which is what we used today to get our wonderful brunch. Uh, Postmates is a delivery app for restaurants that don't have delivery. It is amazing. It is streamlined. It is simple and convenient. Right now, use code Jenna Julian when you download Postmates for $100 of free delivery credits. When you try the app, you will not regret it. It is an amazing app. Can't say enough good things about it. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. Hi, Kermit. Um, Julian came up with a really fun thing to do because I laughed the second that you said it. Yeah, I was like, we were trying to come up with an idea and I just, I like a lot of times I'll have something in my head and I definitely don't say it because I'm like, this is so dumb. But that time I was just like, honestly, what's the worst I can have? I'm going to say it. And you laughed. I was like, how do you like this idea? Well, I mean, it could suck. It could be completely not good. We don't know yet. But yeah. like, I'm ready for it to be awesome because I looked up some that are going to be awesome. Oh, you have some good ones? Yeah, I have some good ones. Am I gonna am I gonna get outplayed well, here? Well, let's just say we did this in two different styles. So I asked Julian, how many do you have? You know, because we're sitting there like, well, let, describe what it is. Uh so I just had this idea that you get a recipe and you just read the ingredients. You just read the ingredients to the, the recipe other, and the, the other, other person, person has to guess what it is. So But the, not the steps. Yeah. Just the ingredients. Mm-hmm. Okay. But so I, I was like, Julian, how many do you have so far? And he goes, mm, what do you do? I have 30. And I was like, I have two because I'm going through and like on Pinterest and finding them. And, you know, you have to scroll yeah. through the small novel that they wrote in this beginning. I of know the what. Recipe. Can we talk about that? Why is every single Pinterest recipe I don't come know, with a life story before? And the, like, I get that they're trying to, you know, set themselves apart or establish, you know, their well, that's, style. Yeah, that's how they make a brand. Good for them. But like. I want just put it at the top and then I'll be more enticed to be like, you know what? This person put it at the top. I want to read their life story now. I don't think that's true. No, I wouldn't. I'm lying. You are I'm lying. I'm giving false promises you just are. to get what I want. Um <laughs> so I have like a handful and Julian has like a hundred that he hasn't I read don't have yet. But you haven't read them. Why would I need here is it why would I need to read the recipe? If I'm say I'm searching for pasta, right? I search pasta on Pinterest. A picture of pasta pops up. I click on it. That's a recipe for pasta, so I add it to my board. I don't, why do I need to read the ingredients? Because it's not like I'm going to click on it and it's going to be like, you know, I, hamburgers. I read, and, I read the recipes because I wanted it to be something interesting if I read it out loud to you for you and our listeners and or viewers to guess. But my me providing interesting content is me finding interesting recipes that I know are interesting by searching for the interesting terms. Okay, so you haven't read any of the recipes. Zero, yet. absolutely zero. <laughs> okay. I haven't even got past the picture. <laughs> okay. But I promise it'll be good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And if it's not, you can hold me personally accountable. Mm-hmm. So you went through Pinterest. You mm-hmm. know, sometimes when you click on a recipe, it takes you to, if you pin it, it takes you to a link that has like 30 or 50 dinners of some certain style. And like you have to scroll for an hour to find Top the one that you're looking for. Top 50 dinners for the 4th of November. Like that? Yeah. 
Are you saying that I'm going to fail? <laughs> I'm not going to fail. I'm going to do well. All right. Well, since you have so many, why don't you hit me with one? Why don't I do the honors? I'll do the honors. <laughs> okay. You, you I created a new board for myself. It's called Podcast Recipes. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Okay. Are you ready for this? Because I got some weird Hi. shit. I got some weird shit, dude. Kermit is demanding to be part of this podcast. All right, I'm ready. Ingredients. Okay. One cup of small curd cottage cheese, Trader Joe's style. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. One fourth a teaspoon of pepper. Butcher, Ooh. butcher ground. Ew. Does that mean pre-ground pepper? Hello, dude. Who uses pre-ground pepper, dude? One-fourth a teaspoon of granulated garlic. And finally, one-fourth a teaspoon of onion powder. That's all you get. <laughs> Just cheese and spices. <laughs> that is so nasty. Hey, Jenna. What? Good luck. <laughs> oh, my God. How much cottage cheese a cup? Yeah, one cup. Can I also tell you like a utensil you might use? This might help. A small mixing bowl. <laughs> I don't know. Spicy cottage cheese. Like what? Do you <laughs> Spicy <laughs> cottage cheese? Yeah, that's all you need. Oh my God. Y'all want to come over for the game? <laughs> I'm yeah, making... sure. What should we bring? Oh, nothing. We're making spicy cottage cheese. Just bring a spoon. Just dead. We spoon. only have one spoon in my house, so bring your own well, spoon. Bring your own spoon, and it's gonna be a small bowl. So get here fast. It's gonna go. It's it's gonna go fast. Oh, Julian, I don't know what that is. No, no guesses. You Wait, want a hint? No. Well, let me think. So okay. you put you put a bunch of spices into cottage cheese, like. <laughs> I don't know how to like, cook. <laughs> like you can't like cook cottage cheese. Oh, you'd be surprised. Is it like deep fried? Oh, you're getting somewhere. Um, um, yeah. Do you just like gloop it into a fryer and now you have like spicy cheese balls? Um, well. All right. Just tell me what it is. You're close. Just tell me. It's keto cheese chips. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> What? What? What did I say? Stop it! <laughs> that is so fucking terrible! That is disgusting! Oh my god! If you're ketogenic and you'd like some crisps. Oh my god! Y'all bitches you make... really be putting yourselves in ketosis and eating spicy cottage cheese, pretending that it's fucking food, but it's not! That's disgusting! Oh my god. Stop! Stop it! I, I didn't do it, but yeah, stop. I think they should stop too. It's not good for them. Okay, what what is the method? Okay, I'll go through. How are you going to turn that into chips? In a small bowl, mix cottage cheese with spices. <laughs> heat a large nonstick frying pan over medium heat for one to two minutes. That's a long time to be heating it with nothing on it. Scoop one half a teaspoon of cottage cheese mixture into the pan. Cook for one to two minutes. Once the cheese has stopped bubbling, the surface is dry and starting to brown. Use a rubber spatula to lift the edges from the pan. Carefully peel the chip away from the pan. Flip and cook an additional 20 to 30 seconds. Repeat with remaining batter. So it you're just making bad, you're just making but pancakes, but it's cheese. cheese. Yeah, I like cheese when it's like cooked. And you ever just put some cheese in the microwave and let it melt? Like that's I do that. Fun. I do that. Yeah, no, I do. Delicious. No, we're now. making fun of like cooked cheese as a snack, but I've one thousand percent on multiple occasions in my life poured cheese onto a paper plate, mm -hmm. put it in the microwave, and grabbed a fork afterwards mm -hmm. and just took it into the yeah. Face. No, I'm down. Yeah. But that is really funny. Yeah. Well, one for one, baby. Feeling good to start. It's disgusting. <laughs> By the way, guys, I hope you like our new mic arms. Julie drilled into our table. I drilled into the table. So I don't know how long this table is going to last now that I got done with it. But um, for a long time, I would notice any time I would get towards the edge of the frame, there would be a giant mic arm in my face, like right here. So we got these low profile ones. So hopefully you can see our mugs better. I'm like, I'm so upset because the things that I pinned have nothing on what you just did. Oh, you just buckle up, dude. Oh, no. Okay. Buckle. Buckle. Are you ready for my first one? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
12 ounces of cream cheese. No way. Softened. What? Sorry. I was just doing an overreaction. <laughs> Wait, softened? Like, yeah. Okay, sorry. Like you leave it out from the fridge and let it get a little soft. Like for two, three days and stuff? That's disgusting. <laughs> sorry. Three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. A teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. A cup of peanut butter warmed in the microwave. A half a cup of chopped Reese's peanut butter cups. Two cups of Reese's pieces. And graham crackers. Do, 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 do. Peanut butter cheesecake? That's a really educated guess. What is it? Is, wait. One more time. Okay. Read it through. 12 ounces of cream cheese softened, a three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of, of vanilla extract, a cup of peanut butter warmed in the microwave, half a cup of chopped Reese's peanut butter cups, two, two cups of Reese's pieces, and graham crackers. Yeah, my guess would be uh, it would be peanut butter or Reese's cheesecake, or it would be peanut butter velvet cupcakes. Wait. Why? I, no. Yeah. Well, because red velvet cupcakes have have cream cheese in the fit. In the... Mm, but there's nothing here to make a batter out of. There's no flour. That's true, huh? Mm. Um, dessert bagel spread. <laughs> it's honestly not the worst guess. All right, what is it? The picture is really what did it for me. It's a Reese's peanut butter ball. So it's a ball. Like, you know when you put a, a oh, cheese ball a cheese ball. ball. So it's a dessert cheese ball. It's a dessert cheese ball. Oh, and it's, I, it's, I might have a recipe for a cheese It's the peanut butter, ball. the cream cheese, and the chopped Reese's peanut butter cups. And all of the Reese's pieces are smushed on top of it. And then you dip your graham cracker into it. Or you dip the knife and spread it on their graham cracker. Exactly. That's funny. It's like a dessert cheese ball. Mm -hmm. That's funny. It's also like... Maybe stop cooking for today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe hang up the old apron. Uh, Maybe I, just fucking eat some Reese's Pieces and call it an afternoon beach. Yeah, I uh, I came across a surprising amount of cheese ball recipes when looking through Pinterest. They love their cheese balls. They love the cheese balls. And I when Pinterest I searched is the best though. When like, I searched you can find cheese anything. balls, anything. Yeah, it, Pinterest is incredible actually. Uh, when I searched cheese balls, I was expecting to find like the puffs, you know, mm -hmm. but that's not what I found. Oh, okay. Okay. You ready? Yeah, he's just so hot all the time. He's hot and nasty, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. right, I just I already got a selfie. Uh, what in the recipe? Yeah, I'm just trying to get down to. Oh man. We should have just taken screenshots. Yeah, this is this is unprepared of me. Oh god, a picture of their kitchen. <laughs> okay, this isn't even. Okay, I'm just. Oh, you're getting Pinterest. Yeah, I just got right Pinterest. Now. I'm I'm moving on to the next one. I can't I can't deal with that right now. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, because I'm ready. One can of refrigerated buttermilk biscuits. Fuck. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Um, Why did you just say fuck? Because it said biscuits. Whatever. Three tablespoons of unsalted butter, melted. Two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, fresh or canned. Hey, hey. Not for you, Parmesan. Okay, so we have so far we have biscuits, butter, and cheese. Mm -hmm. All right. Half a teaspoon of each. But also, all of my recipes have no calories. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of each garlic powder, dried oregano, dried parsley uh, flakes, and pinch of salt. That's okay. it. That's all you get. Okay. And a preheat oven mm. for 400 degrees. So... I'm guessing that you probably picked this recipe because the biscuits were combined with those ingredients like butter and salt and spices and cheese in some sort of really good looking fashion, mm -hmm. like a wreath or like a, a cake or a swan. Yeah, a swan. You might need to just rein it in a little bit. <laughs> I don't think I picked a garlic swan. But I appreciate that you think I would. A biscuit swan. A garlic biscuit swan. So is that your final answer? Garlic biscuit swan? Yeah, that's my final answer. Absolutely incorrect. <laughs> what is it? But you're close in a sense that there's garlic in both of what you guessed and my original recipe. <laughs> and that's the only reason it's, it's not close. It's your recipe. It's my recipe. I it's made it. It's on my own Pinterest. 
That doesn't make it your recipe because you pinned it to your board. I'm the CEO of Pinterest. <laughs> that, that's not true. It's garlic knots. <laughs> it was literally just garlic knots. I, I way overthought that. Yeah. I, I think that is an understatement. I'm over go. It's what I do. I think of every possibility. Like, so I, co- I, so I, I co- overthink everything. So I come out hot right out of the gate with keto chips. And so then afterwards, that's part of the strategy <laughs> is now you're just overthinking everything. You're second guessing every intuition. All right. Give me another one. I only have like six. Oh, yeah. You. No, I'll, dude, I'll rattle off. I'll rattle off a few right here, right here and now. That was from the comfort of cooking. Not that I need to shout any of these out. I thought it was your recipe, Julian. Yeah, I founded the comfort of cooking. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ingredients. Two pounds of medium cheddar cheese. Mm. One and a half cups of nacho cheese Doritos. <laughs> One and a... I'm not done. I'm not done. One and a half cups of spicy nacho cheese Doritos. <laughs> So you have three total cups shit. of burritos. Oh, shit. Four eggs. Oh. One and a half cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. And a quart, a quart of vegetable oil. You're making deep fried Dorito balls. What the fuck? Yeah. Because you have flour and Doritos and cheese to so hold what, it all together so and the to cheese coat is- it and then to... Put it in the... Fried cheese stuffed Doritos. Mm-hmm. Damn, you just nailed that, dude. Hell yeah. That was good. That was good. If you tell me that you have a quart of oil, what do you think you're going to do with it, Julian? I don't know, man. Maybe grease up a little bit. <laughs> it's like a troll Pinterest account. When it's like... <laughs> Take one... a quart of oil, pour it down your pants. <laughs> Start massaging yourself. Okay. So this... Um, I, I have another one I'm going to do right okay, now. Okay, okay. A big pot. Mm, fun. One cup of short grain rice, white rice preferably. That's your own judgment being that, inserted into this <laughs> recipe. Damn it. I'll, you know me too well. Uh, it actually says white rice, so I'm just going Vegetable stock, but you can also use chicken stock. Mm. Or no stock if you, if you prefer it more bland, mm. which I don't know why they would include that sentence because who goes into a Pinterest meal thinking, I'd prefer this a little more bland. Well, like for kids, if you're cooking it for little kids or something, maybe. Okay. Um, and the last recipe or the last ingredient, you ready? Yeah. Water. <laughs> <laughs> it's water. <laughs> you're making rice. No. You're just making. No. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. You're putting it in a rice cooker. <laughs> not making rice. Yes. Yeah. I'm not making rice. No, I'm not. That's okay. So that's like the base version of this. They also add a bunch like things to make it more tasty, but you don't have to add them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you a couple of suggestions of ingredients to spice it up. Okay? okay, scallions, grated ginger, salt or soy sauce, not both. White pepper, black pepper works fine. I don't know why they wrote white. Uh, chili oil or vegetables. Rice. You're making rice. I'm not making rice. You're making rice with any of those things <laughs> in it. <laughs> making rice with something. Okay, I'm so making you have a, stock, a recipe. Stock, rice, and water. In a pot. You're making rice. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Think about the ratio here, okay? <laughs> one and a half one and a half cups of rice. Okay. Oh, it doesn't say how much water, it just says water. <laughs> <laughs> it literally just says water. <laughs> I'm not making rice. I'm not making rice. Okay. You're making water. I'm making... Are you ready You're to You're making hear? vegetable stuff. No. You want to hear what I'm making? What? Gruel. I say <laughs> stop 
can't see anymore, Julian. I literally can't see them crying. And if I take my glasses off, I can't see because I need my glasses to see. <sighs> that's what gruel is. Yeah, well, that's the base recipe of gruel. It's rice and water? Yeah, in a pot. That doesn't sound like gruel. Do you just let it cook for like Yeah, ever? I think you just let it get mushy. There's no flair to it. It's just a basic. It's a basic recipe. That's why they serve it in like what? So like you're prisons telling and stuff. me you're telling me that the first person that made gruel, like they fucked up and they were like, okay, I was making rice, <laughs> but now I guess I'll eat it. <laughs> but I put too much water and let it cook for too long. So or just, or just they were trying it. to make rice and then they forgot that they had to go on vacation for three days and then they came back and it was gruel. So there you have it. It's a gruel recipe off Pinterest. That was probably the least Pinterest thing on the entire website of Pinterest. Look at how it's, this is how it's formatted. It's the worst. There's, what, who's that? It's her. Anyway. Well, what do you got next? I can go again. I got more in the tank. I'm ready to, I'm ready to fly. Okay. I'm like crying. Dude. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not. I'm okay. <sighs> All right. <coughs> Three and a quarter pounds of lean ground beef. Okay. Yeah. Twelve cups of apples, peeled, cored, and diced. Six cups of raisins. One cup of brandy. A tablespoon of ground cinnamon. A tablespoon of ground allspice. A tablespoon of ground nutmeg. Three and a half cups of white sugar. That's it? That's it. One more time. Read it through one more time. Three and a quarter pounds of lean ground beef. That's the part I don't get. Twelve cups of apples, peeled, cored, and diced. Six cups of raisins, one cup of brandy, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one tablespoon of ground allspice, one tablespoon of ground nutmeg, three and a half cups of white sugar. If you're from somewhere cold, I bet you know what this is. Is it like a stew? Why is there ground beef and then a bunch of sweet things? Apples? Mm-hmm. I literally have no idea. I don't even know what to guess. Like, I don't know what name to say. Apples. Um... Is it like a, can I get a hint? Is it like a holiday thing? Is it like a festive It's definitely recipe? like a winter thing. It's winter, but it's not like holiday. Huh. Yeah, like, be, uh, like beef stew, beef cider. What is it? It's the minced meat pie filling. Mince meat pie filling? Mm -hmm. So that's just... Although I think like British people don't have any meat in their mince meat pie. Mm. But this is a real mince meat with meat. Meat. Mince meat pie. Mince meat. What's with the apples? Why would someone want apples in a, in a pie with meat? It's fun. It was like one of my stepmom's favorite pies. And she would so it's pies like all the time. sweet and savory kind of thing. Yeah. All right. I, I'm sorry. I sucked at that one. No, you didn't. All right, you ready for my next one? Yeah. One egg white, one-fourth a cup of all-purpose flour, unbleached, one-eighth a teaspoon vanilla extract, mm -hmm. one-fourth a cup, oh, an ad popped up, one-fourth a cup of white sugar and a pinch of salt. Um, an egg white? Carmine, no, we're playing a game and you were just up here, but you got too hot with your little hot body. Stop it. An egg white, flour, vanilla, sugar, salt, pretty much. How much flour? I think it said a cup. Uh, one fourth a cup, only one fourth a cup, and one egg white. Are you making a pancake? I'm not making a pancake. Are you making an egg white cookie? No. Well, it's not called that, but I you know, can't say no. So you're going to take the egg white and you're going to mix it with the flour, sugar, salt, and vanilla. You making a crepe? No. 
That was a good guess. That was a good guess. There's so there's literally so many guesses with this set of ingredients. Can I read you some of the me- like the method to give you a hint? Sure. You need strips of paper. Okay. You know what? What? You need strips of paper for what? Part of the recipe. Just tell me when and I'll tell you what are it you, is. Are you making an edible paper mache? No. Why would you need strips of paper? For the recipe. <laughs> Julian. G- give me another hint. Stop it. No. Lay down. No. You don't need to sit with me. Help me. The paper is not only used for like a tool in, in the recipe process. It becomes ingrained in the final product. So you're eating paper? You're not eating paper, no. Are you eating it off the paper? No. Just tell me what it is. It's a fortune cookie. Julian. <laughs> Julian. You put a strip of paper inside the fortune cookie. You don't eat the paper, but it's oh in there. Oh, my God. Uh... What, what? You're a thousand percent right. <laughs> I know. Give me another one. All right. I don't even know if you know what this is, but I used to eat this a lot growing up. Okay. And I just actually found out upon looking it up on Pinterest that mm-hmm. it's like pretty much vegan. Like you can really easily make this vegan. Um, and it's gluten free as well. But I had this growing up. Um, I think it's a, I think it's like a traditionally a Jewish thing. It's a dessert. Um, two cups of honey, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half cups of pita- pistachios toasted and unsalted, or you could use almonds, but pistachios are preferred, and two cups of tahini. Pistachio hummus. No. Pistumus. That is probably the most gross name I've ever heard. Pistumus? <laughs> that sounds like piss and stomach and ass <laughs> in one word. <laughs> I don't like that word. Pistumus. Not, no, it's not pistumus. Pistumus. Pistol mess. Stop saying it in different accents. <laughs> Went to the bathroom. Pistol mess. I honestly guarantee someone has already guessed what I'm what I'm describing right now. A Jewish dessert with pistachios. I think it's traditionally Jewish. I'm not positive. I don't know. I used to eat like a lot of the high holidays for that stuff at my Jewish friends' houses, and I've never had a pistachio dessert, so I don't know. Hmm. What is it? Are you sure you want me to, you, you have no Tahini other guesses? Tahini and pistachios? I have no idea. It's either pistomus or it's something I... Halva. Yeah, I've never even heard of halva. you never even heard of halva? No. Oh, I had a feeling you might not know what it is. Wait, so the only thing you would sub out is the honey, right? Yeah, you could just find vegan honey and then you'd be mm. good to go. Or even like agave or maybe something like that. Mm. Halva is... I'll show you a picture. It's... um. This is what it looks like. Should be called pistumus. Actually, that's kind of a weird looking picture, but um, it's like, it's hard uh-huh, and, and it's, it's like, like very block. flaky. Yeah. And you cut a piece of it and you get to, you, you just, just like kind of eat it. Yeah. It's, and it's sweet, but it has like a dry sweetness to it. It's some like really good uh, halva is, is fucking incredible. Is it like incredible. similar to candy? Like, does it get that hard or is it? It's so it's not like hard, but it's like a block. And then you mm-hmm. it's sort of like if you can imagine maybe like, like a cheese? cheese block. Yeah. And then but it's very flaky. So if you cut a piece off, it like sheds like in thin strips like mm. it, you know, it doesn't hold together very well. That sounds good. Uh, yeah. Halva. I love we should make that, dude. It's that that is like that'll hit me right in the childhood. OK, I'm down. That sounds really good. All right, Julian. 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 A cup of whole milk. Whole milk. Six slices of white bread. Two pounds of ground beef. One heaping cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. A quarter teaspoon of seasoned salt. Three quarters teaspoons of regular salt. Freshly ground black pepper, a third a cup of minced flat leaf parsley, four whole eggs beaten, 10 slices of thin regular bacon, um, one and a half cups of ketchup, a third a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of dry mustard and Tabasco to taste. Sloppy Joe? 
That's not the worst guess. What the fuck? That is so many things for two slices of bread? No, there's six slices of white bread. Oh, I didn't think there was two. So there's six slices of bread. There's ground beef. There's all sorts of seasoning. There's ketchup. Did you say tomato in any, any of there? Anywhere? No, just ketchup. Just ketchup. Did you say cheese anywhere? No, no cheese. But there is whole milk. Whole milk. Yeah, that's the weird part. Is it like beef French toast? No. Beef toast? No, it's not beef toast. Beef bread? No, it's not beef. Mm? It is kind of like beef bread. Oh, shit. I don't know. Oh, oh, uh, beef wellington. It's not a beef wellington. You don't use white bread for a beef wellington? <laughs> I don't think Gordon Ramsay uses white bread and smush, Gordon, Gordon smushes dog. it around his Gordon Wellington. Gordon Dog, we know you use white bread for your Wellingtons. We know you do. I, I have no clue. I literally have no clue. Well, it's from Ha. I'm Re Drummond, the pioneer woman oh the website. God, bitch. Beach, don't even. And it is her exquisite don't. bacon meatloaf. Oh. So how do you, can you read how you make that? I'm just yeah, like, sure. well, I so mean, meatloaf. The ingredients are similar. Instead of the white bread, there's bread crumbs, but it's similar to how you'd make a meatball. Okay. So the, the, the fact the that the egg, yeah, the milk, the bread, I would have guessed bread crumbs. I would have, sorry, I would have guessed meatballs if you said bread crumbs and not bread. But the fact that she uses whole bread was throwing me off. Cause I thought it was like an end up being like a sandwich. You pour milk over the bread slices and allow it to soak in oh. for several minutes. Place the ground beef, milk-soaked bread, Parmesan, seasoned salt, salt, black pepper, and parsley in a large mixing bowl. Pour in beaten eggs. With clean hands, mix with dirty-ass hands. <laughs> like, why would she write with clean hands? <laughs> Go out and do something real nasty with yourself. Mix the ingredients until well combined. With clean hands. Form the mixture into a loaf shape in a broiler pan, uh, which will allow the fat to drain. Line the bottom of the pan with foil to avoid a big mess. Tee-hee. Lay bacon slices over the top, tucking them underneath the meatloaf. And then to make the sauce, you add ketchup, brown sugar, mustard, and hot sauce in a mixing bowl. I actually, when I was a kid, my mom would make meatloaf, and I did really like it. My, yeah, yeah. I've, I literally never grew up having meatloaf. I, my reaction to that being like, ew, it is not that like meatloaf <clears> is gross. It's just like, I didn't expect that to be a meatloaf recipe. But the best part about this game is that you can make anything. That we're describing right now. Like it's festive. And if you don't have the ingredients, you know where you can get them? Off of Postmates. You can Postmates the ingredients to your house right now or wherever you are. Your workplace, your friend's apartment, your girlfriend's apartment. Maybe not a bus bench, but somewhere Aww. pretty close to that. You could get Postmates you to deliver. You could get rice and water. And you could you get could, rice and water Instead of having delivered. delicious rice, you can make yourself some gruel. If you guys are hungry right now and you're craving something yummy and not also not really that healthy, gruel is the way to go. <laughs> And you can get, you can achieve a really great basic paper tasting gruel right now with Postmates um, or anything delicious aside from gruel. Right now, guys, Postmates is offering you $100 towards your delivery credits in the first seven days when you use Postmates and use code Jenna Julian. Postmates is a great app. You log on. Sometimes if you don't feel like cooking or you just, you know, you saw a restaurant on the way home and you're like, ah, I'm in my socks and my me undies. And I'm drinking a glass of Wink Wine. I'm like sponsor overload right now. <laughs> and uh, you just don't want to go out. Postmates will they'll, they'll cover you. The you select off the menu or off of the list of uh, items they have in the store or whatever. Or if they don't have it, you can enter a custom item, which is what we do a lot of times, especially if you have like a lot of variations to your order. And a postmate will go and pick it up from the restaurant and deliver it to your house. Very simple and it's it's so hassle free. So right now guys, download Postmate, use code Jenna Julian in the app, and they're giving you a hundred dollars of free delivery credit in your first seven days. I I know you guys won't be disappointed. It's such a great app. Also, guys, me undies, the most comfortable, soft underwear you can buy with money. Uh, it's like if you haven't felt MeUndies, it is truly, truly a new experience when it comes to the fabric softness. It doesn't make sense, but it, it is there. And every every day when I wake up, my MeUndies are there for me and they could be there for you too. Uh, they have amazing, amazing onesies. Oh, can't even get enough of the onesies. I know. They have bralettes, they have lounge pants, they have underwear, they have socks, all with the super, super soft 
micromodal fabric. And right now they have an offer for you. First time purchasers, you guys get 15% off and free shipping when you purchase any MeUndies using our URL, MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian. Uh, and again, if you're trying to get this for a Christmas present, which I think MeUndies is such a festive and wonderful Christmas present for your loved ones because they're not going to not wear it. Uh, just make sure you order by the 16th to get the order delivered by Christmas. Um, so you can be the king of Christmas or the queen of Christmas or the MeUndies um, Santa. That's MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian. Also, guys, Wink. What a great service, right? You don't know exactly what wine to pick, but you know the type of wine you enjoy. Wink helps you. Basically what Wink is, it's spelled W-I-N-C. You go onto their website. And they give you a flavor profile test where they get exactly what kind of palate you like when it comes to wine, but also just like flavors in general. And they use that information to formulate a lineup of wines that you would like. And then they send you the wines. Like, it's amazing. You don't have to do any of the work. They do it all for you. They have wine experts uh, that, that help curate exactly to your specific liking of what wines to send you. And you can just discover all sorts of new great wines starting today. So go to trywink, that's T-R-Y-W-I-N-C dot com slash Jenna and Julian, and you get $20 off your first shipment, and they will cover the shipping fees. So check it out. Don't stand in that wine aisle anymore, not understanding what wine is what. Just try Wink, all right? Links down below. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. All right, well... Hit would it be okay if I recipe. would it be okay if I um, gave you a different Sorry. version of like a different flavor of gruel or are we done with no, the gruel? No, Julian, no more gruel. Okay, and also if I give you a really weird recipe and you think I'm lying, I'll show you. I'll show you the fact that it's a real. Thing. I believe I'll you. I it. believe you a thousand percent. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Six medium bananas. <laughs> okay. Fourth a cup of lemon juice. Mm. Thin. Six thin slices of boiled ham. Okay. You know what? Three Julian. tablespoons of prepared mustard. Julian! Two envelopes of hollandaise sauce mix. What? And a fourth a cup of light cream. Is it like banana eggs benedict? Very close. Banana eggs benedict. Ham and bananas hollandaise. That's disgusting. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. The picture is them, the, the banana is laid out on a tray all in a row. And then there's ham covering each one. And the whole thing is just covered in holiday sauce. This, this hollandaise. Hollandaise, sorry. This, this is a dream come true to at least one person out there who just cannot get enough of bananas with everything, but also loves their eggs, Benny. And they're like, oh my God. God. I never liked any My food fetish ever. has been completely achieved with this recipe. Someone out there is feeling that. And honestly, fucking go live your life, dude. Get on with your bad self and eat those bananas with hollandaise because I imagine it's going to be an experience. I don't like hollandaise sauce. I never did. Oh, hollandaise is great. No, I, I don't only like I don't like any like thick mayo-y sauce, you Ooh, know. I love mayo-y sauces. I never ate mayo growing up. I like don't really like it. So spicy mayo, thing. aioli. No. Chicken salad with the mayo. Oh, I love mayo. Mm -hmm. I love mayo-y sauces. Hollandaise sauce, you can really easily make that I vegan. Can't eat, I can eat like a a taste of it and then I'm like that's enough. When I made you the um the vegan eggs, Benny. Ugh. I mean, it's okay. Oh. That, no, that sauce was fine because it's not mayo based. It's not like you took vegan mayo and like made it. No, that you have like... to. It's a, it's a prepared. But like hollandaise is not just a mayo sauce. It's actually like I've looked up a lot of recipes. Um, and also, if you want to find a really great uh, hollandaise recipe, uh, Kenji uh, Lopez Alt makes really, really good recipe videos on that But that was good because it was like tangy and not thick and gross. There's a, like, it's a big process to make good hollandaise. You have to like, it's it's all about the timing and how much you're... Like, yeah, if you're making it with eggs and Well, stuff. if you're making it with real eggs, yeah. But then also, like I made it obviously vegan, so it's still a difficult recipe. Like the, it still requires a lot of finesse. That is a, yeah, but that is disgusting, Julian. It's bananas covered in ham, covered in hollandaise sauce. It's hey, disgusting. All I got to say is don't knock it till you try it. So if you're never going to try it, you're never going to knock it. Am I right, men? Can I do another one? I want to do another one. Go for it. I mumble. Okay. Here's what you'll need. 
three five and a half inch rectangle cookies with rounded edges. Cookies or you, cookie cutters? You, you already need cookies to start. R- rectangle cookies. That's one of the ingredients. Rectangle cookies? A home screen paper template. What? What is that? A home screen paper template. Wax paper. Tape. Okay. Flood consistency royal icing. Mm-hmm. Tipless piping bags. Mm-hmm. Decorating tips. Mm-hmm. White pearl dust. Mm-hmm. Gold pearl dust. Mm-hmm. Blush gold pearl dust. Mm-hmm. Silver pearl dust. Mm-hmm. Edible ink markers. Mm-hmm. Gray edible markers. Yep. Brushes. Uh, colored extract. Paint palette or small dishes. And edib- edible wafer paper. You're making a, a cookie iPhone. <laughs> yes. I'm making an iPhone cookie. Literally making it. You just said home. Oh my God. (laughs) They look so bad. They look so (laughs) bad. And it's not edible. A lot of those ingredients, like tape. (laughs) Why go through the trouble of having edible markers and then tape? No, you're not going to eat the tape. You probably use the tape for something. I don't know, man. They look kind of wild on here. Julian. I got another one. I got another one. Let me go. Let me go. Do me, do me. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay, here we go. One cup of 100% juice. Any juice? Juice. Okay. Hunt, well, come the get per- y'all? The 100% kind. Come yeah, the get come, y'all the come get y'all. Wait, they should make a juice brand. Come get y'all. Come get y'all juice. And then it's a picture of the kids smashing into the oven oh, on the... On the t- two okay. tablespoons of honey. Mm-hmm. Fourth a teaspoon of sea salt. They use Redmond. Six okay. cups of cold water. Get it? So. That's the salt they use. Redmond. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So okay. water, I, I honey, get... salt, juice. Hundred percent juice. What is that noise? Is that the dryer? Oh, that's outside. It's like construction. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It sounds like someone's outside, like, moving stuff. Okay. What? You want me to look outside? All no. Right, I'll, I don't know. I'll look. I'll, look. Um, I'll peek. Water. Hun- All right. I'll sit here and think. Water, honey, salt, and juice? Are you making, like, a, a popsicle? I'm not making a popsicle. Yeah, it's like our neighbors moving stuff around, I think. I'm not making a popsicle. This is a good recipe to have in the summer or whenever you need to drink something. Tea? No, but close. Hot juice with honey. It's not hot. Cold juice with honey. No, it's not And it's not a popsicle? It's not a popsicle. Okay. Homemade Gatorade. Okay, Julian... (laughs) <laughs> those are just someone took the labels off of plastic gatorade bottles and filled it with their shitty pinterest homemade it gatorade. really really doesn't look like why can't you like just put it gatorade. in like a cup why'd you have to put it in in the ripoff bottles or even like a even like a mason jar would have looked better i don't know are right, you ready do you want me to do one for you oh uh, no, no no one cup of cold heavy whipping cream Two tablespoons of sugar, honey, or maple syrup. So one of the three. And then a half a teaspoon of vanilla. You're making whipped cream. Yeah. That's it. Oh, sick. All right, Julian, are you Mm, ready? mm. Four hot dogs. (laughs) Yes. Two green onions, one jalapeno. A teaspoon of chili powder. A tablespoon of vegetable oil. Eight flour tortillas. A cup of cheddar, a cup of Monterey Jack cheese, a cup of nacho cheese, and it and, uh, just says one sour cream. Tacos. You're making hot dog tacos. They're not tacos, uh, but they're very close. Hot dog quesadillas. Yeah, they're quesadogas. <laughs> quesadogas? Yeah, look at this picture. Oh my God. Jason, W-Y-A, dog. That looks good. Yeah, it does kind of look good. 
That's like a donko, but better. Yeah, because you like you put the the hot dog in it and you melt the cheese. Like you put it in cheese and roll it up so that it melts like around. That's the hot dog. fucking hype. I like that. You can make a vegan version of that. Yeah, that one sounds. Quesadogas. I like the name more than anything, honestly. Like, shouts out to that name. Mm-hmm. Quesadogas. You ready for this one? Mm-hmm. I'm proud of you for getting that one. I mean, I pretty much got it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Never mind. I'm not going to do that one. That one's a bad idea. Fair enough. Okay. You ready? Here, this, you'll like this one. You'll like this one. Okay. This one will make you actually hungry. Okay. Four ounces of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Two ounces of cream cheese. One fourth a teaspoon of sugar, mustard powder, garlic powder, onion powder, cornstarch, ground turmeric, and a half a cup of whole or reduced fat milk. By the way, it's turmeric. Turmeric. Why do people say turmeric? I don't know. Sorry, I, I say just turmeric. No, 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 you don't. Yeah, I do. No, stop it then. What were the first? So it's cheese and what else? Cheese, cream cheese, sugar, mustard powder, garlic powder, yeah, onion yeah, powder, yeah, yeah, cornstarch, yeah, yeah, ground yeah. turmeric. You're making like. I said turmeric now. A Fuck. Cheese dip. No, but close. Well, in a way. Is it fondue? There's a specific name for it. Uh huh. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you reach for a tissue, what do you call it? A Kleenex. There you go. There's your hint. I don't get it. <laughs> so it's named after a brand of something. Elvida? No. Mm. Close. I don't know. It doesn't always come in a traditional canister container. Easy cheese? What's it called? Easy cheese. No, there's a name for it. Easy cheesy no, baby. No. Cheesy baby. No, no. Spray cheesy baby. No. Spray peasy. You're not even speaking English anymore. Incorrect. What is it? Cheese whiz. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. You were like saying every Z word I knew. <laughs> and you couldn't say cheese whiz. Ugh. Say cheese. Cheese. Now say whiz. Whiz. <laughs> cheese whiz. <laughs> whip. You got one for me or should I do I got one for you. Okay, good. Come on, bring yeah, that. I got, I got oh, one for you. Bring that. This. this is such a fun game. I adore this game. This is fun as hell. Damn, dude. Take it to the bank, dude. <laughs> okay. A pound of lean ground beef. Two tablespoons of butter. One small yellow onion, diced. One small green pepper, diced. Eight ounces of brown mushrooms, minced. Two tablespoons of ketchup. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Half a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. One tablespoon cornstarch. One cup of beef broth. Eight ounces of provolone cheese slices, chopped. Six brioche hamburger buns. You're making burgers. No. Meatballs? I mean, it's a type of burger, sure. Maybe. Oh, it's a type of burger. Maybe. Maybe. Sloppy Joe. You're not wrong, but it's not a traditional Sloppy Joe. Um, is it, does, it, does it end up in a patty form? Mm-mm. No, okay. So it's a square patty then. So it's a Wendy's burger. Mm-mm. So it's a square patty? It's absolutely not a patty. A sloppy joe isn't a patty. I know, but you said it's not a sloppy joe. It is a sloppy joe. It's a type of sloppy joe, but it's oh. not a traditional sloppy joe. Because it's not just like meat and tomato base. Oh, so what's the name of it? That's what you're trying to guess. Oh, got that. Okay. Um. It's ground beef, provolone cheese, onions, and peppers. Cheesy sloppy joe. Grilled cheese with sloppy joe. Ground beef grilled cheese. GBGC. Want me to tell you? One more hint. Give me another hint. What does it rhyme with? What does it rhyme with? I'm not telling you. Okay, what is the first letter of the name? I'm not telling you. What is the country of origin? No, no, no. I don't know. United States of America. Okay, give me another hint. Real hint. Good hint. No. Okay, I don't, I don't know. 
I give up. It's a Philly cheese steak, Sloppy Joe. <laughs> okay. What? It's Philly a Philly cheese steak. Philly cheese. Okay, Philly. Philly cheese steak, Sloppy Joe. Mm-hmm. I don't really know why that's any different than just like a Philly cheese steak. By the way, if you ever hear us yell Philly cheese steak, the reason we do that is because uh, during TwitchCon, uh, Will, Jason, and Lexi were meeting us at a bar, and they got in a, a lift, and the woman who was driving the lift was like, "Where are y'all from?" And Jason was like, "Philly." And then she just started going, Philly cheesesteak. Okay, Philly. Okay, Philly. Rocky, Rocky. Rocky, Rocky. <laughs> and they like arrived. She started and just, like, shouting out just, everything just into yelling, Philadelphia. Just yelling at Jason about all the stereotypes about <laughs> she had <laughs> about much. Philly. Philly uh, cheesesteak, sloppy joe. All right. I mean, I didn't know a Philly cheesesteak, sloppy joe, but to be fair, I did fortune cookies, so I kind of deserve that one. I wish... Okay, you ready? You ready? Mm-hmm. You're gonna mm-hmm. get so freaking owned right now, dude. Okay, own me. Two to three cloves of garlic, depending on preference. Mm-hmm. Some of you might prefer so two cloves, cloves, whereas others of you might prefer three cloves. That's what the that sentence meant. One large eggplant. Bitch. Or uh, EP, as I like to call it. No. Two teaspoons of olive oil. Two tablespoons of tahini. Uh, juice of a half a lemon. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of paprika. Preferably smoked oh paprika. My God, Julie. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> That's it. Are you making eggplant hummus? Nope. Are you making a roasted eggplant? No. What's the beginning? It's an eggplant. Just an eggplant, garlic, garlic. olive oil, tahini, lemon, spices. You're just making eggplant. Nope. I don't even, I don't think I've ever had this in my life. Roasted eggplant. No. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's wrong. That's incorrect is what I'm telling you. It's just a roasted eggplant. Do you want me to tell you what it rhymes with? Sure. Papa ganoush. Papa ganoush. There you go. Oh. Who would have thought Papa ganoush rhymed with (laughs) Papa ganoush? (laughs) Ganoush shouldn't rhyme with ganoush. Ganoush. (laughs) Yeah, well. I don't yeah. think I've ever had that either. I've then. never had baba ganoush. Baba. Baba ganoush. Baba ganoush. All right, you want me to, how, how many more should I do? Should I do one yeah, more? Yeah, no, should I, I like it. More? It's fun. I got okay. one more for you. Okay, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, you want one? You want you? Okay, 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 Um, An eight ounce box of elbow macaroni, freshly cooked and drained. Half a pound of hot dogs sliced into rounds. Garbage plate. Two and a half cups of American cheese or two and a quarter cups of Velveeta cheese. Mm-hmm. Five tablespoons of unsalted butter, a small onion, very finely chopped. A quarter cup of all-purpose flour, two cups of milk, a quarter teaspoon of gra- ground black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of salt. You're making hot dog mac and cheese. Pretty close. But the pasta's already cooked. Hot, oh my God. Pasta salad with hot dog. Pretty close. Is the hot dog casserole, bitch. Oh, oh shit, oh God. Get that Is out of my kitchen. Is the hot dog casserole, bitch. Get that all the way out of this my kitchen. This be some real white people shit yeah, right that's here. Wow. Y'all want some hot dog casserole, bitch? I just threw together when it was in my fucking kitchen. It was hot dogs and pasta and cheese, bitch. This is disgusting. We're going to take a trip south of the border for this one. Oh. Three cups of rice flour. I, yeah. Okay. One cup of... Sweet red bean paste. Mm. One and a third cup of boiling water. Wait, what was the first ingredient? Rice I flour. Okay. Sweet bean paste. Rice boiling flour. water. Three fourths a cup of brown sugar. Half a cup of untoasted sesame seeds. Six cups of peanut oil. Is this pad thai? How the fuck would you make pad thai with that? Mm, you're going to bread something. I didn't say noodles. I didn't say tofu. I didn't say. Okay, keep going. No, that's it. So it's flour, bean paste, and what else? Flour, water, sugar, bean paste, rice flour, sesame seeds, peanut oil, and it's brown sugar. Pretty sure you've never eaten this. Then how am I supposed to know what it is? That's part of the fun. I don't know, dude. Hi, Mambo. What is it? You could throw it. I can throw it? You could throw it. I don't know. Sesame ball. 
fried sesame balls. Mm -hmm. Never had one. Could you or couldn't you throw that? Yeah, you could throw anything if you throw it. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Hit me. Someone that loves sesame balls. Whole wheat balls flour. Losing their mind. Three okay. cups of whole wheat flour. Uh -huh. One cup, one and a half cup of oat flour. Mm -hmm. Ground cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I feel like that shouldn't be in here. Uh, large apple. Mm -hmm. Egg. Water. Coconut oil. Oh, no. We've made this recently. An apple, egg, water, and coconut oil? Whole wheat flour, flour and oat as well. Remember the oat flour? Yeah. We made it for a video recently. That's not apple crisp. That's nasty. Whole wheat flour, oat flour, cinnamon, egg, water, coconut oil. Is it a cannoli? No. Well, then what have we made for a video recently? Coconut oil. I don't know. Is it a dog treat? <laughs> it's a dog cookie. Oh, Mama, it's a dog cookie. Mama, it's a dog cookie. He's just being so cute today. Like, I can't stand him. He just wants to, you know, be with me. I was going to say, that sounds nasty. Like, that doesn't sound good at all. No, it's not good. All right. Last one. Okay. Ten ounces of rice noodles. Okay, it's pad thai. Sesame. Damn it. I was doing it from memory. Yeah, I know. You weren't reading anything. That's how I know it's Pad Thai. Sesame That's oil. That's really, we're going to end on that? Vegetable oil. Sichuan peppercorns. Extra firm tofu pressed and or dried. Chopped into small cubes. Bok choy. Green onions. Peanut butter. Soy sauce. Lime juice. Red chili peppers. Um, other stuff, but that's pretty much it. No, we don't have to end on that. I'll find, I'll find, I'll, I'll find something. I'll find something good. Okay, we'll end on something good. I wish I could have ended on the ham and bananas hollandaise. That looks <laughs> that was, so disgusting. That was a good closer. <laughs> all right, I got one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oranges. That's all the ingredients. You're making oranges. No. Orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was it. <laughs> the, the gall of someone to put that on Pinterest. <laughs> it's literally a recipe. It was just a picture of a cup of orange I bet juice. there's like a long ass blog in front of it too. Yeah. All right. I got a real one for you. Okay. I don't think I've ever eaten these, but I've always wanted to try one. A cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two large potatoes boiled, one onion chopped, Two green chilies, very finely chopped. Three tablespoons of oil. So it's like sectioned off, so that, that's why I said oil twice. Half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of garlic, coriander seed, cilantro, lemon, um, and the juice of the lemon. Teaspoon of turmeric, teaspoon of garam masala, and teaspoon of red chili powder. Mm. So you're making some type of potato. Well... There's also flour. Mmm. Right? It sounds like a spicy laki. Not a horrible guess. What is it? Garam masala. Yeah, I know. What, what type of food uses that spice? Tasty stuff. All kinds of stuff. Is it like a curry potato? No, it's not curry potato. What is it? But there's no curry in it. You want me to just tell you? What? It sounds similar to Jamaican jerk s'mores. potato. S'mores. Samosas. 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 Mmm. They're I've like, do you ever, know what they are? No, I've only ever had the ones that you buy frozen and then I eat them. So you do know what they are. They're like a little breaded yeah. snack. Yeah. Really good. And they're like fried, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm down for some some some. I'm down for some samosas. Some some samosas. You want to have samosas with a mimosa? Uh, can I have some of your mosas, please? Ow, my head. Can I can I have some mosas? Can I have some mo? Can I have some mosas? Stop. Stop what? Saying samosas. 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 samosas I'm gonna samosas, take samosas, all samosas, your samosas. rice and make gruel out of it. Wait, babe. 
Babe, it's cheat day. Can we please have some gruel? Can't believe you picked a gruel. Well, never gonna forgive you for that. It's okay. I I know that, and I'm fine with it. Honestly, I don't care. I like gruel, mm-hmm. so I like I put gruel on everything. <laughs> I just keep a, a vat of it. Oh. Would you break up with me if I had to keep a vat of gruel always on the boiler? Just mm, no. forever. I would just think you're, it's part of, part of you being real nasty. You know? If Kermit was a human, he would make himself gruel. He would be standing over his gruel 24 hours a day. Stirring it. Not nasty Looking all nasty. Hi, Mama. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and or played along. That's I a win. fun game. I like that game. I'm the self-proclaimed winner. No, you're not. Fair enough. I didn't win. You can't win. But uh, no, I'm glad you like the idea. I think this is good. I think it's good that you don't like read the. I thought you would have to read the recipe like the steps, but that would give it away. No, no, no. I think we can also do this again, and I will absolutely bring that heat once more. He's so cute. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. We'll see you next week for another podcast. Thanks for listening to us, guest recipes. And uh, remember, um, all right, bye. Don't you need to finish what? that? I sentence. finished it. I finished it. Finish it. No, thank you guys for 